would you feel if someone would rip off your idea and maybe even started making money out of it? Would you like someone sharing the paper you wrote without your knowledge and permission? That's why you can use a work only if you have permission from the copyright holder. Copyright law automatically protects the rights of the creator of an original work of literature, science or art. Registration of such copyright is not necessary. So whenever you like to use or reuse parts of a journal article or book chapter, or that image you found on the internet, you need permission of the copyright holder. We can hear you think, how exactly is that possible in everyday life? Of course, there are ways to make things easier for you. Here is how. Share the link to your source. A good way of referring your peers to materials is by sharing a link instead of the PDF file. Sharing a link that refers to content legally published is not considered a reproduction of a work, so copyright is not an issue. Make use of open access resources. For this type of resources it is obvious that the copyright holder gives you permission to use it. You can use it freely as long as you attribute the maker. These resources often have a so-called Creative Commons or CC license. Make use of the education exception if you need the material for your teaching. Teaching staff is allowed to use copyrighted materials for educational purposes. Make use of the quotation exception. This means that you can make use of a relevant idea by citing it. However, you must have a clearly identifiable goal and you must cite no more than strictly necessary. Finally, you need to credit your source correctly. How? Check out the library's e-learning module on referencing. If you cannot reuse the material according to one of these conditions, you always need permission of the copyright holder before you can use it. Note, if there is an artwork on an image, then you also need permission of the copyright holder of that artwork, with the exception of artworks in the public domain. The UM Copyright Information Point informs and advises about copyright issues that need to be resolved whenever a publication is written, published, used or reused. Please check out the website of the Copyright Information Point.